this video, I'm going to show you one of the most underrated routes in Madden 22, especially for a good tight end. If you have a good tight end on your team, this is a really good route uh, combo that we're going to be breaking down in this video. Now, uh, one of the things that I want to say before we get too far into today's video is if you guys want to get my my full gun bunch offensive ebook, um, I think that the Seattle bunch is probably the best bunch in the game, at least in my opinion, if you're just running bunch. Seattle has a really, really good bunch. It also has bunch tight end as well, and it has trips tight end. But anyways, bottom line is if you want to get my Seattle offensive ebook, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below. You can get that for just 10 bucks by joining my Patreon. Again, it's only 10 bucks to sign up, get you access to all 28 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, you can head down to the description after the video to check that out. But this is a really good route combination that you can utilize out of this playbook to actually get a lot of things accomplished um, out of the Seattle book. So again, here I've got my flats on 30, my curl flats are on 10, and my hook curls are on five if I was gonna run a double Mabel concept. And um, you can get this done with Rob Gronkowski, but let's say you have the Vernon Davis with route tech, or you have Kyle Pitts, or you have uh, you know uh, Darren Waller in Mutt. This is a really good route combination. Um, and it comes to us out of the play, clear out a C out. Now I'm pretty sure that this is only found in Seattle's playbook. Um, I think that Seattle is one of the best playbooks over the last probably five to seven years in Madden. It's always good every year and this year's no different. So let's talk today about clear out SE out, why it's so good. And we're actually gonna zero in on the tight end post being one of the best routes in Madden 22. So this tight end post route is really good. It's really deep. And uh, what you could do with this route to shorten it is you can smart route the route. So as you see here, I'm just gonna simply smart route the route to Rob Gronkowski. And then we have a couple of different things that we can do with this concept. If we wanna have a more vertical approach, I'm gonna use a four verticals approach here. So we're gonna streak Chris Godwin, and then we're gonna take our running back, and we can put him on an option route or an in route. Um, I personally really like putting my running back on an in route or an out route, um, or if I don't wanna do either one of those, I could put him on a Texas pattern, I could put him on an option route, any of that stuff that you wanna do. But as you can see here, we're just gonna do this. Now, what makes this so good is this is a four verticals attack that is really hard to stop in any zone coverage. If they're playing cover four, again, I could take my flats pretty much all day at this. Um, pretty much regardless of what they do, if they're playing cover four, I can attack them with the flats. But what makes this so good is for the double Mabel meta. And this is something you've probably faced if you've played any Madden 22 this year. You're gonna get a 30 yard cloud flat on the outside and you're gonna get a 10 yard curl flat underneath. And so what this does is this tight end post route will actually get over the top of a 30 yard cloud. You'll see if I just pass lead it up into the outside, once he passes that cloud flat, you see that it's wide open uh, for me to be able to throw that football. Now, another reason why I really like this play is because it has the potential to actually bomb the cover two coverage. So if they're in a cover two or Tampa two style of coverage, this can be a really good play for, because what you'll see here is that the fade route on the outside, if we pass lead him to the right, because of that streak at the seam, you can get a lot of really good catch animations on the outside. Now, this is more of a short side concept than it is a wide side concept. We will show it a, a wide side in just a second, but I just want you to zero in for just a second on this fade to the right side. And what you'll see here is if our quarterback can give us a good throw, I can get this outside of that deep half and do a little swerve catch. It's been one of the best bombs all season long. Now it's not only good for, um, for cover two, but let me show you something about cover three real quick. So again, against cover three, my favorite thing to do is to hit the tight end post. But typically, if someone is running a cover three, they're going to run a cover two to the, to the solo receiver side. It's a very common adjustment that a lot of people like to do. It's kind of a cover three uh, cloud coverage, if you will. And so what we can do with this concept is this fade right on the left is also an outside pattern. So if I throw this to the outside and I have deep out elite, I can user catch this a really uh, a high majority of the time against cover two coverage. So if I want to attack cover two coverage, I can attack it vertically on the left 
just like I can attack it vertically on the right. Now, um, again, it's definitely not a one-to-one, -one, but let me show you something else about cover three. So let's say that we keep our outside thirds on this plate. Occasionally, not always, but occasionally, it's worth a look, this fade route can actually bomb that third. Now, right there, it did it. This over here on the right side didn't bomb it either. As you can see, kind of a, a wash of a play. Let me show you one other thing with cover three that you can do. This is another tag with this play that you can do if you want to try this as a setup. This is more for cover three specifically, um, but what we'll do is we'll put a corner route out there. So now we have a high low to the right, and then we have a, a, a post to the left. What you'll see with this is your corner route, a lot of times will get wide open to the short side. So very good play to the short side. Now I wanna move the ball over here to the wide side. And again, basically if it's cover two, it's a one play touchdown. If it's cover three, we have a lot of deep stuff open. And then if it's cover four, if it's to the short side, you know, it won't stop everything, but it will play it a little better. However, if we come over here to the wide side of the field and they wanna run cover four with our, with our first setup here, a lot of times this fade on the right side We'll actually bomb this. I'm just going to pass it that hard to the right. And what you'll see is that outside quarter, Amos actually made a pretty good play there. A lot of times the outside quarter, the outside quarter will basically dumb out. And so he'll kind of like attract, if you will, to the inside. And then this fade to the right, you're just going to pass it this to the right, hard to the right. And again, Brady's under throwing the ball. I'm going to try throwing that a little bit earlier. But you see how the outside quarter is kind of like glitching out and dumbing out. He's not going with the, zone, with the route. So this is another thing. This is why I like the streak uh, Godwin. So here you'll see, and we'll just pass lead hard to the right. There you see kind of the idea. And again, Amos is getting back there a little bit. But if you have a gunslinger quarterback, that's a window that you can hit. Uh, Brady just unfortunately, he, I just don't feel like he can hit that window very consistently. But there's a lot of quarterbacks in Madden 22 that certainly can. Now, if I lob this, I'll show you what the lob looks like. You see, because Scotty Miller's just faster, he can kind of get over the top there. But just mess with that. Just trust me. That's worth it. Um, it it's worth messing around with. If you have – I should have put uh, – should have used Rodgers and shown you a gunslinger. But with gunslinger, um, like I said, like right there, hard outside pass lead, he would get that out there a little bit more, and it will just be a little bit better of a throw. So, anyways, you can mess with that. But the other thing that I wanted to show you, um, I want to go back to the conversation about the double Mabel. So let's say that they're in that cover three defense and they're doing the double Mabel again. Now you might think, well, because we're on this side, um, there's not as much space for my guy to attack. Well, what you're going to see with this tight end route is he'll still have pretty good room. I don't know how I got shedded out of that, but he'll still be able to get over the top of the 30 yard cloud. And I'll show you, it's a little tighter but he will certainly be able to. You got to trust the route a little bit. But what makes this so good is we also have that fade on the left. If we want to motion this fade inside, um, we can, and then we can put a wheel route to the left. That's pretty glitchy against cover three, cover four. Um, but anyways, here I'm gonna show you. Just pass lead it straight up, and as you see, it's over the top of the 30 yard cloud. This is also really good against match coverage, which brings me to my next coverage that I want to talk about. It's good against man as well. The running back in route will beat man. The fades are really good against man press. And then you have that tight end post. Again, I, I, that's why I suggest a really um, a skilled tight end. You want that tight end route to be able to beat man. It beats man best when you smart route it. And if you can have a Vernon Davis right there, um, it's pretty good against that. Okay. So let's talk about match for just a second. So if it's match coverage, um, if you take a look here on the right side, you'll see here that they kind of play it pretty well as our base setup. However, our secondary setup that I gave you with the corner route, this can be very good against match. So let's say it's, it's quarters and we're gonna do our corner route to R1 and we're gonna have um, our smart routed post and we're gonna have our running back. What you'll see in, if it's this, a lot of times that circle player will not get guarded over the top. As you can see, he's wide open for a one play score over the top. Now, most people's solution to this in this coverage is they will deep half, they will deep half that safety on the on the side of the bunch. And I'll show you why this is really good. So the tight end post you'll see here will now get wide open across. 
Um, actually, and that's why, again, I say a little faster of a tight end, he'll get a little better separation on that. But the deep half, if you took a look at that, you notice, and this is why I think if you're getting a little bit more match, this is a little better to the short side. But if you're getting this coverage, you'll see that he the deep half will play his responsibility and take him up the seam. However, let's say that I'm on the short side of the field. Remember, we talked about how to beat cover two at the beginning of the video. If I'm on the short side of the field over here, a lot of times, this has just been my experience, but a lot of times, and again, it's a little bit of a thing to make this throw, but a lot of times this um, route to circle will get open against this coverage. Well, you'll see here. See how he kind of sucks inside? When he does that movement inside, you want to make your throw outside. So that's kind of what you're waiting for. So I'll show you to you again. And then, of course, you still have this backside seam route that's really good. Um, you have a corner, a high-low you could check down over there, and your tight end post. There's a lot in one play. This is probably my favorite play in bunch this year next to bunch trail. So there he kind of guards it. Okay, then we'll check down or we'll hit our tight end or our corner route. Um, but I will tell you, like, just mess around with it a little bit. A lot of it has to do with Madden being um, – different in practice mode than it is in game you'll find if you have a gunslinger quarterback you can make this throw fairly easily in game um, also if he doesn't get jammed um, it'll be open more but then you have this over here as well that you can come back and hit that tight end post um, and again I'll, I'll show you how the tight end post beats match so you can just see it what you'll see here your in route is open there and then right there is where you want to throw that tight end post and again, if you have route tech or you have a fast tight end, what's killing Gronk is his speed. If you have a fast tight end, it's way more open. So just trust me on that. It's one of my favorite plays in the game this year. And I truly feel like it's just not ran enough. I really do. Um, I think this is one of the best plays in Madden. Um, if you wanted to, one last thing I want to leave you with here. You Again, like I said, you can put your running back on anything. So let's say we want to put our running back on a wheel. If you did that, my suggestion would be, to motion this guy in like this now you have this wheel and you have that vertical against against that coverage now again i wouldn't put him on a wheel i'm just you know i'm just spitballing with you um and the reason i wouldn't put him on a wheel is because of what you just saw you don't want these routes to one in you, you really don't want it's not good route spacing so what i like to do is take my running back and either put him on an in or an out Okay, so something like this is really good. And you just have a high-low read. And this is such a good combo against most coverages. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this concept, please make sure that you check out um, my Patreon membership. Uh, it's only 10 bucks to sign up. And it gets you access to everything. You get my bunch ebook. You get my Seattle guide. You get my trips stuff. You trips. All my defensive stuff. Over 28 offensive and defensive ebooks you will get instant access to by becoming a Patreon member today. It's only $10 to sign up for it. Make sure to head down to the description of the video. Click the link down below if you want to go check that out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.